well, here we go for the maiden journey. I've been thinking I should have done this while you weren't all watching me, but never mind, my life never quite works out like it should, so you can all come along and hopefully I don't blow myself up this time. <laughs> my lovely daughter sent me a text saying, don't do anything stupid in your truck today, Dad. <laughs> so I'm thinking, she's full of confidence, but we're gonna be all good, honey. I don't think I'll get any awards as a spray painter. We've got a little bit of overdrift, but anyway, I've got myself a new little panel here so the bees have got something to lean against. Or if all else fails, I could start a musical instrument. This would be the percussion section, I suppose, of the orchestra. Anyway, that'll look too bad. My old man would have said a blind man would be pleased to see it anyway, so. It looks better than when I started. I guess that's the main thing, but we'll see. I ran out of paint and it started raining, so I thought, oh well, one coat will have to do. Maybe next time we'll give it another coat when we get back around again. I'll get me rags off and we'll load ourselves up and down the road we go. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. You're not supposed to film all the bloody over, overbearing or whatever it's called. I ran out of tape with my excuse anyway. Stop it. <laughs> It'll look good from a distance, that's all that matters. Well, it's maybe not all that matters, but still. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. I'm guaranteed there's so much crap stacked in this unit. <laughs> now, we almost need a trailer on the back of the truck to put all the bee shit in. <laughs> Get one of those crazy hitches and tow your car behind. You know, when they drive along, brrr. Maybe that's a good idea. Hell, there's a thought. We could put the, we could put the little forklift on your car. That'd work. <laughs> anyway, on, onward and upward. Whew, it's a long way up there. <laughs> Golly gosh. Oh. Now just remember if you're truck driving, don't grab hold of your steering wheel to get in. That was one of the lessons I got told. Otherwise you make all sorts of trouble. No, my friggin' water bottle <laughs> leaked everywhere. Ah oh, man. I think we're gonna need an extender cab. I was hoping to be able to have a nap back there, but that doesn't look promising. Oh, now my seat's going to be wet. Stop your whinging, the cameraman says, and get on with it. People are waiting, aren't they? They're waiting there with bated breath. <sighs> Everybody say a quick prayer. You ready? Can I hear a roar from the audience? Ooh, here we go. Go on, trucking. <laughs> Shut up, radio. What are you doing? That's not positive. I can't even figure out how to turn the radio off. Oh, under control. Let's go. I got some red frogs for some energy. <laughs> I'm ready for a sleepless night. See you, Mum. Here we go. Whew. Bit more confident in this truck than the other one, but we got a lot further to go too. <laughs> Bit of a run. It's been sitting there that long and the wheels are going to dunk to dunk where the flat spot is. <laughs> ah, fucking hell, I've forgotten the wallet. Damn, now we've got to find a spot to turn around. Good grief. I've been blaming John for holding me up, now I've held myself up. Damn it! Anyway, at least we're not at least we're not too far. I didn't get to the servo and go, that's like when we go out shopping, John's always got his wallet in the car. So that would have been fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> Ringing up your missus and saying, can you just transfer a few hundred dollars? Dad hasn't got his wallet. <laughs> ah, bloody hell. That's a fail, isn't it? Then I'll think, bloody hell, they didn't make it. <laughs> they have aborted the mission. <laughs> could have been worse. We could have been a lot further away. We're only 10 minutes from home. Fear not. We shall make it eventually. Be strong, young Padawan. Well, that was a nice 
nice trip. It didn't take that long, really, did it? Not too far at all. I feel quite refreshed, actually. Blooming, flooming, heck. I shall return. Like a conquering hero, or something like that, anyway. Enough cheek out of you, too. <laughs> I think I've given myself a headache. <laughs> Oh. oh, well, okay, fuck it, maybe we'll go tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man, what the hell? <laughs> man alive. Well, that's 10 k's we didn't, out of my life, isn't it, that we didn't plan to lose? <laughs> right, let's try that again. I remembered the wallet, we went back for the wallet, but then I forgot the bloody keys for the padlock on the gate. Oh, John, why didn't you remind me? Shit! Oh, we're only four hours from home. God damn it. <laughs> How'd you fucking manage that? I don't know, they're in the console of the ute. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't think about the lock gate until we got, because I was just thinking about unlocking the gate just then. And I'm thinking, well, that won't work because we haven't got a key. Ah, fuck, now what are we going to do? Fucking hell, what an idiot. Honestly. Oh! Damn it. It's going to make a long night of it if we drive home and drive back again. Jeepers. Now what are we going to do? Sick now. No shit. Oh, idiot. Anyway, we'll give him a ring and see. I don't even know where they live. Hell, I'd forget my brains if it wasn't stuck in my head, wouldn't I? Anyway, I guess it was a good test drive for the truck. Mate, we know we make it down here and back. Just empty. Far out. Oh, man. What a dipper. Why didn't you ask about the key? Hey, you supposed to, you're supposed to be on my side helping me out. Do you reckon Mum would come for a drive and drop it, bring it down? <laughs> I think you'd be pushing your luck. I think I might be. coming over me. Well, that's a bloody failure, isn't it? <sighs> What's he gonna say to me? Probably everything you just said to yourself. Oh, I guess I have to ring him there, don't I? Yeah, we haven't come all this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll fuck it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, damn it. Yeah, idiot. Can I just sit here and have a little cry? <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. I wonder where they actually live. Hopefully it's not fucking too many hours away. Mm 
not happy. What an idiot. Gary, just Mark to go here, mate. Just hoping you could pick up. Thanks, mate. Bye. Oh, God. What's that? Nearly seven o'clock? Yeah. Really? Oh well, at least we'll be home by midnight. <laughs> hey. Fucking hell, John. <laughs> what an effort. Got a text message, Dad. Woohoo! And what does it say? It says, Yeah, he left the gate unlocked for his mate to get firewood, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, it's so amazing how good you can change your mood just to one little message. And you text him back and say, We love you! <laughs> oh man! What a saga! Oh, fucking hell. How good is that, eh? Talk about luck. I like the fact that you thought I'd oversprayed me bloody all the rest of the paintwork, but that's all just mud. <laughs> oh, well, <sighs> after all the excitement of the keys and the three hours for the chips, we're finally here. We might get home by sunrise if we're really lucky. We've just been debating whether we should just roll up under the truck and figure it out next time. <laughs> but anyway, we're here, we're keen, and we're gonna give it a crack. Woo! <laughs> About right now, it'd be great if this thing run out of gas, won't it? <laughs> I shouldn't make stupid jokes the way this trip's going. <laughs> Diabolical, I think, is the word we're grasping for. I'm thinking since you're here, I'll pop you up on the tray and we'll take it in turns and I'll pass them up to you and then you can stack them. I reckon that'll work. Well, I don't know. You're all going to find out how this all operates because it might be a complete bloody... I might be, in about 10 minutes, I might be hoping that I didn't find the key. <laughs> I'm feeling confident. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> anyway, at least it's not raining. Not like the other night. I reckon I figured out what happened with that captail lift too. There was a blooming short in one of the wires that had been cut through a bit. And I reckon because it was raining, <laughs> it just went, nope, don't like you two. <laughs> now, it's a very high tech ladder I brought along. <laughs> Oh, I don't think that's quite up to speed, but anyway, it'll be all right. <laughs> uh, eventually, I have great plans of making a proper getting up ladder, but I found this one in the <laughs> down by the shed, and I thought, well, that'll do. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea. <laughs> uh, I got it tied up like a wild bull. <laughs> the other day when I was fooling around with this, I whacked my head on the motor. <laughs> Walked under the litter, boom, nearly knocked myself out cold. Oh, look at that. There you go. Ye of little faith, it did roll. <laughs> now, the only drama I have got, though, is we have to work out how many layers we're going to have to do, because this thing lifts up in the air, but I don't know how we're going to actually organise that. Well, we can crank the crane up to make it double layer, but I don't know how we go, because I haven't really got that tried out completely. Counted up, shall we? Did I bring the handle? That's the next thing. Yep, it's still in there. Didn't even fall off. Right, so in theory, we'll swing this around. Oh, 
I have to make my own sound effects. We're probably going to have to make a double layer. <laughs> Sorry, girls. <laughs> Knock myself out with the chain. <laughs> well, that's not ideal. This could be fun by yourself. <laughs> oh, I don't think I quite got that right. Oop, hang on. What have I done there? I've got it tangled around itself. <laughs> Oh, come on! Five minutes in, we're in trouble! Ah. What have I done there? You silly thing! Oh, I don't know. Now, where's the middle? Oh. Hey. They put on a bit of weight since we were here. So after many a moon of shifting bees around, we figured out if you face the boxes towards the front, when you unload them, they don't see the daylight so easy, so they don't all swarm out of the box as much. Seems to be a good idea, it's working so far, so... Oh, the things you learn along the way of this journey of craziness. Oh, she's a bit primitive, isn't it? <laughs> Twang! Less primitive than lifting them by hand. Well, that's true enough. <laughs> that was entertaining, wasn't it? <laughs> not. You were not a happy boy about all that lot. <laughs> Okie doke. Now, let's go and see if we can't get this the right height. Oh, shit! <laughs> I think we're going to be in trouble trying to get that bee box on top of there, aren't we? <laughs> Not quite going to make it. So we have a trick, though. <clears throat> oh, there's a little trick to it. Oh, so we can crank this up a bit. <laughs> Oh fuck, there's supposed to be a pin somewhere. Don't tell me that's fallen out. Oh, oh well, hopefully that doesn't land on your head. The only thing holding it up now is the cable. There's supposed to be a pin goes in this hole here. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh no, here we are, it is here. <laughs> oh, fear not. <laughs> see if we can see where it goes. Oh, look at that. It's See, I had that all planned, didn't I? You would think, now I didn't even have to bloody get the camera turned off to get it right. Ah! Or maybe that's because, you see, it's the right height for the second box. Anyway, let's onward and upward. <laughs> Well, I reckon that's pretty bloody good. We've got the bees on board. All we gotta do is rope them down now and off we're heading for home. Woohoo! I don't think my daggy ass white paint made it work any better, but it looked better. <laughs>
<laughs> you start getting to this level of beekeeping, you start to appreciate our commercial fellas. Good golly gosh, my legs are going numb. <laughs> That's a bit of a drive up and down the road. Now we've got to get the chick chicks off the jolly truck. <laughs> Poof. Oh. <laughs> the things that go on just so you can have some honey on your toast, it's crazy. Think of me when you're snugged up coach in bed, snuggling your wife. Us beekeepers are out driving around the countryside. Well, there you go, eh? Our first truck move successfully completed, even before the sun comes up, so that's pretty good. I think we'll deserve a bit of a nap. We might go home and have a little sleep before breakfast. Well, we might wake up for lunch if we're lucky. I don't know, I'm not sure what the time is. I think it's about five o'clock, but I'm pretty impressed with me blooming old school, done up new rampy damp. So oh, I reckon it's all right with my madness of getting that silly old truck. This is what I went to get that old truck for, was to get this loader, so I reckon it's been a success. Thanks for coming along. Don't forget to support us on the Patreon if you're enjoying this madness. <sighs> get to this point, your adrenaline's nearly stopped pumping.